Welcome to Northwoods, Wisconsin. Welcome back. Back with another video. I want to show you guys my new turkey fryer I just bought yesterday. My old one was uh, getting a little old and worn out. I cooked a lot of turkeys in that thing, so I bought this new one. Check it out. So this is the new one here. I have it hooked up to a 20 pound propane cylinder here already. I have lit it. This is the pot that uh, goes with it, which I really like because it's got the spout there on the bottom. Normally you gotta wait forever until it hits a certain temperature and uh, pour it back into the containers. And now I can just, uh, I mean, I don't know how hot uh, the plastic containers will handle, but uh, I won't have to wait as long. I can just turn this open here and, and uh, pour it right out. So I think that'll work nice. I'm pretty excited about that. But the problem with this thing is I didn't, you know, they don't tell you this stuff before you buy it. This thing has a stupid safety switch on it to where you got to push this red button here every 15 minutes, otherwise it'll shut off. And that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, I get the whole safety aspect of it, but it, it's going to take like 45 minutes to an hour just to warm up the oil. So I got to sit out here for like that, probably two hours to cook a, I think I have like a 12 and a half pound turkey I'm going to deep fry this. This Thanksgiving, I'm gonna have to sit out here like two hours with this thing, uh, non stop hitting that button. So that's pretty ridiculous. If you guys know of a way to where I could bypass that thing, I mean, let me know. I'm no expert on this type of stuff at all, so I have no idea. I gotta put in uh, two AAA batteries in it for it to operate. So, so I got some in there. I have lit it, but yeah, it, uh, it's got a 15 minute timer, then once it gets down to five, the one light there will start flashing, and then when it gets down to two, it'll start flashing faster, and that's your opportunity to hit that button before it goes up within that two minute period. So, it's ridiculous. Anyhow, I'm not real happy about that, but I also, I like it otherwise, I'm not going to take it back to the store. Something I'm either going to have to deal with or uh, figure out how to bypass. Anyhow. so. I want to show that to you guys. I'm also curious as to uh, if you guys would be interested in watching me live stream uh, me doing the uh, deep frying the turkey on Thanksgiving night. Um, I'm sure you guys would be busy with your families and stuff, but uh, we're having Thanksgiving at my brother's house, which is just across town here. And so I'm going to deep fry the turkey here instead of taking all my stuff over to his place and then, you know, having to haul it back with hot oil and stuff. So I'm going to deep fry it here and um, take it over there. So I'll be here for a couple hours that night, probably deep frying the turkey. My wife's gotta make some stuff for taking over there and my mom's baking another uh, turkey that she's taking over there. So we're gonna have a lot of food. There's more people this year. Um, so I was wondering if you guys wanted to watch me live stream it. Um, I could do a video on it maybe. I don't know how, how to it's going to be. Um, I might have a couple beers or something while I do it, you know, that's, not exactly recommended while you're doing this and I'm probably gonna do it in the garage here too which is also not recommended while you do it so um, don't do you know as I do I've done a lot of them so I know how to be pretty careful with them but uh, if you're just getting into turkey frying don't bother doing what I do if I do a video on it anyhow so let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to watch me deep fry the turkey on Thanksgiving uh, leave me a like on the video um, Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.